Well, good morning. Welcome to another Sunrise with Pastor Hayton here on a Monday morning, beginning of another week of life. Some of you, you're going to have to get up and go to work every day this week and work till quitting time. And some of you mothers or parents are going to have the responsibility of getting up and getting the kids off to school and straightening up the house and planning the menus and doing the laundry and the housework and all that is involved in rearing a family. Uh, some of us, we perhaps have a little bit more of a flexible schedule. I'm so thankful that I don't have to punch a time clock, and I'm so thankful that I don't have a bunch of kids that I have to worry about trying to get off to school each day and, and uh, keep the house up and all of that, as some of you do. I know that my life is quite different than many, and yet I still have a responsibility I cannot just fritter away another week. I don't have anybody that's going to check what time I get up out of bed and go to my study, and I don't have anyone that's going to keep track of how I spend my hours throughout the day. But you know God is watching, and I've got to do that which is pleasing to God, and I am determined that I'm not going to just fritter away the week. Now, one of the greatest temptations, I think, of a pastor is that he can procrastinate and things that really ought to be done today, why it can wait until tomorrow, or we can think that that isn't really all that important to get done. But I do think that we know in our heart what we ought to prioritize, and I think we know in our heart how we ought to make use of each hour of the day. And I'm determined as a kind of an independent type minister that I'm going to make good use of my time. I know that the Bible tells us that we are to use our time wisely. Uh, you know something about redeeming the time. I think that's an indication that we're to use our time wisely. We're not to just fritter away or waste our time, but every minute is to count for something. And I'm determined here at the beginning of this week as I think about my responsibility of church leadership and ministry that I want to be at my best, and when next Sunday rolls around, I don't want to get in the pulpit wishing that I'd spent more time in prayer and wishing I'd spent more time seeking the mind of God for the message and wishing I'd spent more time in preparation. Believe me, I've done that a few times. I generally don't get too far into leading in worship or preaching the word, but what uh, I know when I should have spent more time than what I have. And I don't want it next Sunday to be a repeat of some Sundays that I've had of just wishing that I had made better use of my time in doing what God has called me to do. Now, you know that uh, we can just fritter away time and we can waste time and, and it'll catch up with us, but we can make good use of our time. And I believe that we'll find that it pays to, to make good use of time. So I'm praying that God will help me to use my time wisely this week as you will use your time wisely, carrying out whatever duties or responsibilities you have. Let's realize that time is going so fast and we have not a minute to waste. We've got to make good use of our time. So I'm going to make good use of each minute of every day and hopefully I'll come down to the end of the week and be able to look back and think it's been a productive week and I've been fulfilled in what I've done because I have made good use of my time. Believe me, I have a tendency sometimes to just waste a little time, but I'm determined I'm not going to do that this week. I'm going to make it a productive week, and I hope it's a productive and a good week for you as well. Well, let's pray and ask God to help us to redeem the time. Heavenly Father, help us as Christians and servants of God to make good use of every minute of every day. Lord, that which is uh, well-pleasing to God, that which brings uh, blessing and help to others, and Lord, that which helps us to be all that we can be according to the potential that we have. So bless us throughout another day of life and go with us. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting us share. We'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.